Nah. Oh, look at these um stilt things that you can put under furniture. Emma. And then just move them so you can clean under them. Oh, yeah. I, I've Wait, seen them. You're talking about the wheels? You put them under... Yeah. yeah. No, it's like... um. We, we use them to move like, mom and dad's shed. Really? It's like cup yeah. canister. It's like cup holders. Like the cup you yeah. put on the table and you put on your chair. And you just, you just shift. Yeah. That is I saw so them. That cool. cool. I actually want yeah. some now. <laughs> They've been... That's old. Really? How yeah, did we yeah, not know? It's been out for a while. What do you... Yeah. Why did we not know about them? Everyone knew about it except you. Why did we not have them then? <laughs> do you know why? Because I don't like moving heavy stuff. Because you to move the furniture. <laughs> yeah. Emma's, Emma's really upset at you, Death, that that wasn't her Christmas present five years ago. <laughs> uh, are you ready, Emma? Yeah. The B-Side Word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I am Devon, and I'm here with Emma. Oh, hi. I thought you were going away then. I thought Shock that was rain. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with CJ. Hello. I'm here with Alexander. What's up? And I'm here, back from the dead. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Did he die? <laughs> he's re reborn. Because <laughs> it's his birthday. Birthday boy. Oh, Maxie. happy birthday, Maxie. Was your ba- uh, wait, wait, wait. It was a, his birthday two days ago, was it? Ask him. He's here. You don't have to ask Maxie, me. Maxie, was it your birthday two days ago? Yes, it was my birthday two days ago. How old On the day you? of recording, obviously. I was 27 <laughs> years old. 27. God, you're getting old. Oh, oh Siege. <laughs> well, what, what did you think was going to happen? I was getting younger. <laughs> oh, wow. You went down. Good for you. <laughs> he's not, he's not, uh, he's not Max, I, Max. I wish that. He's not Maxi Button. Button. <laughs> Maxi Button. Oh, yeah. Was, was it Curious Case of Maxi Button? <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> what did you do for your birthday then? Um, uh, went out for a meal with Melody and she. Maybe a nice breakfast. That was mainly it. Talk to the family Aww. from home. But otherwise, it was just a normal work day. <laughs> work just ruined Anti-climax. Everything. My bad. Work. Work. Yeah. work, 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 work. Wait, who was it that said um, that there was new benefits for some company that's, and that's now me. they were it was offering... Ellen, Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, Ellen DeGeneres. They decided, you know, amidst everything that's happened, that they're going to bring in really good benefits for the new, you know, team. And one of them is they get their birthday off. And the other one is yeah. they get four That's... days of paid leave, paid annual leave. So I think it was Emma. four days. Oh, no, I four think days. It was five. Oh, five, five days. Five. five days of paid <laughs> annual leave a year. Five days? Wait, what? That's a joke, isn't it? That's a joke. Five extra days? <laughs> no, no, no. That's so Just that's so five serious. days. Which but I yeah, guess five they days didn't plus have... their birthday off, but their birthday's <laughs> unpaid. <laughs> Or is a birthday off included in the five days of paid annual leave? So it was, what was it? They get the birthday paid. They get five days annual leave. I don't know where the birthday is included. And they get um, paid doctor's appointment. Like oh. when they go to the doctor, they'll still be paid for that time as well. Yeah. You can't be serious. That's that's Ellen DeGeneres' <laughs> employment these their, terms. These and that's benefits. a step up. New benefits. Hold on. New benefits. Is it just me or America's extremely backwards <laughs> in the way they treat their, treat their workforce? Nah, just you. Well... Pay time, <laughs> pay time off isn't a uh, isn't a, like a, a legal requirement over there. Wow, five. Right? Man, how, how maddening is that? What wow. is it in Australia? What's the minimum? Four, four weeks. weeks, mate. Four weeks. Yeah, and That's then the if you're yeah, four weeks of leave. If you're on if you're on shift, if you're on shift, I think some go up to five or six weeks. But you can pay to have wow. more. Like you can you could you could um they dock your pay if you want like an extra week or whatever. That's unpaid yeah. leave. And Most places do that, right? Yeah, like you can buy leave, if you know what I mean, but pre-tax or whatever it is, I don't know. Oh. No. A, uh, not so unpaid is that a, leave. Is What's that a government it? thing? Like, no matter pre-tax. where you work, you can do that. Yeah, if they're four weeks. It'd be crazy uh, if it wasn't pre-tax. It's like, no, I mean, like, you can salary sacrifice yeah, it's pre-tax. to get some it's extra pre-tax. leave if you want on top of the four weeks. Yeah, yeah it's but pre-tax. Like the, if, they, if they advertise it as pre-tax, as if that's a good thing, that's like it would be incredible if they was post tax. Like if they tax you on your pay and then you gave that pay back and more than what they paid you because of the tax. 
That'd be ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. All that stuff goes sure. over my head. It yeah. sounds like, a, like in America, like we give you five days pay leave, like, bruv, that's my human right. <laughs> 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 that's not a benefit. <laughs> what are you talking about? So, I don't know. I can't believe, like, oh, mate, I got, I got 10 days sick leave, which accumulate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got 92 I guess for like, hours. Uh, the thing about that show, though, what I wouldn't know is, for example, I haven't got a clue how much time of the year they actually spent recording stuff so i don't like they yeah. may only work 100 days to start ah, like, right but what, what, what happens to the days they're not working do they get paid or not get paid they don't get paid no, it'd be like a shift job wouldn't it yeah just a, 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 or a seasonal job i, I think say. it's quite cutthroat there because they can just i think being able to fire someone is relatively easy so i know that like our cousin it was pretty cutthroat because he could just get sacked and someone else will be there to take his place Huh. Yeah, there you go. Different. Lovely. Mm. There you go. Anyway, um, first article for this week. Mm. So sad, actually. Um, actor Chadwick Boseman mm. has passed away at the age of forty-three, which is super young, super duper young. Young, and he died of cancer. And apparently, this has yeah. shocked a lot of people because he never went public about his diagnosis. So I don't know if this was a a wide known thing. No, 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 no one. one. I, I didn't know. No idea. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm pretty no, much a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, from, what, from what I read, um, people thought he was lo- losing weight for yeah, a new role. Yeah, right. yeah, that's what I thought he was doing it for a role. Yeah. You, you know what makes mm. um his, uh the way that he depicted like Black Panther and that mm. makes it even more impressive. I mean, it was already a great, like, his acting was already brilliant, but he was going through chemo during that time. Yeah, Dev, you said he was, like, going to chemo and had surgery or ra- whatever and then coming to set Yeah, and doing, and doing Black and, Panther. And doing Black Panther, and I was just like, far out. So, him, Just to be clear, he, he played Black Panther. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah so, he, so he was the actor on Black Panther, star. The, star, star. the main the main star. And um, I think he's done Jackie Robinson. Um, he's depicted Jackie Robinson and also James Brown and like other movies. Um, James Brown. Mm. That that that. Uh, I was like James Brown. Yeah. I was shocked when I he he they said that he did James Brown. And I was yeah. like what? And yeah. in in the blood. Marshall as well. I think he did. Yeah. Mm. Um, and another one. Twenty one. Twenty first. Twenty one something. Which was a newish one. Twenty one bridges. Twenty one bridges. Yeah. But oh, it's just so sad. So apparently, he was diagnosed four years ago with colon cancer. Um, according to that's what his family have said. Um, yeah, and he died at home, surrounded by his family. But it's just so sad. So mm. I thought we better start off with that. Oh, just pay our respects. I heard as well. It was like mm. he got to stage four as well, right? Yeah. So Did he? I heard he. Yeah, I heard he went to stage four. So he got quite far through it, he and then even, you know what? He didn't look that old either. I thought he was. He's not that old. That's, that's forty three. No, but I mean, I thought, as I thought, in, I thought, I thought he was younger, younger than that. Oh. Like, he looked younger yeah. than that. Yeah, he does. Actually. I thought he was. Yeah, I thought he was like. I thought he was in his early thirties. Mm. That's Hollywood, isn't it? To be honest with you. Yeah. So what you're saying is, if I go to Hollywood, I look ten years younger. No, they'll, they'll make you look ten years younger. Yeah. Somehow. Mm-hmm. But you have to put a chip in your brain, Siege. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a drawback. <laughs> well, if I can have, ha- have hair on my head again, it will chip me up. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just reminded me they had the they had the thing last night, didn't they? What? What? The the Neuralink product demo. How did that remind Which you? Which made me think we're chipping the head. Oh. Oh. Because it's literally a chip oh. in the head. <laughs> Oh. Well, I, I just meant like a uh, chip like <laughs> I didn't mean they put a, like microchip I just meant like they chip out of your head like a, you know <laughs> to, to put the new hair in yeah <laughs> <laughs> lots of little chips actually I think you could uh... um yeah I don't, I don't know does anyone else have what are they saying on Twitter I Alexander just, there's a lot of actors what they're saying I don't know um, that's 
Let's see what they're saying on Twitter. So Jamel Hill, I'm not sure she she said yeah. Chad, Chadwick was diagnosed with colon cancer four years ago per reports. During that time, he gave us Civil War, Marshall, Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame, 21 Bridges, and Defy Bloods. Lord only knows what he was going through on a daily basis. Unbelievable, that eh? That is insane. Oh, wow. Dude. That's wild. Yeah. I, I would be at home curling up. That's crazy. He done all of those that was a tough, once he found he had cancer. Man. Four years and then passed away and he done all those movies. That is... What a... Is that like... That's is that like when you think the end might be coming, you just think do everything, less yeah. atta- attack but the life. Fact that, yeah. like, you go full out. The fact that he didn't tell anybody, like he yeah. kept that close to his chest. Uh, uh, well, I don't blame him. Do you think that if he told people, they wouldn't have hired him? Yeah. Well, surely the people who hired him must have known. Yeah, yeah especially if he was sure. sharing it with chemo okay. and stuff. Okay, Disney have invested and Marvel have invested a huge amount of money into the Black Panther. Mm. Would it, would they have hired a guy that might not be here for the sequels? Mm. That's a fair point. I don't know. I don't know. But at the same time, it didn't like Michael Jackson go number one when he died. Yeah, but the thing is, they have Black Panther 2 coming out in a couple of years. Yeah. you got to think with superhero movies, they're always planning to make more than one, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. I guess. So they invested a lot of money into him. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Be in the face. That's a good yeah. point. So I, like, I don't think we'd have got the job otherwise. Maybe. Overall, I just think this is a perfect example still... of not judging our face value. Like, mm. you haven't got a clue what someone's dealing with. If, if someone can be this famous and and no one knows he has stage three, stage four cancer, like what yeah. demons are people battling? I just still can't believe like the amount of work he did while having it. That's remarkable. Mm. I said I'd be personally curled up at home, yeah. just absolutely gutted, shattered. He really attacked it. In saying that, he's a, he's a real hero, but not just a superhero. Definitely, mm. but people and he's, and, he, and he's probably gone down in one of the most iconic movies of all time for um black people, the Black Panther. Yeah, it's incredible. So forever he'll be in history. Hmm. Oh. Mm. It's a sad start. It is a very sad start. It's a heavy start. Heavy. We'll bring I think we'll have to notch. take a. Uh, for the listeners, we'd have to take a 10-minute break to psych ourselves up, so there'll be a whole new energy level coming up. Mm. Mm. Yeah, definitely. But, mm. but uh, like, it's but what a hero! Like, I'm, I'm happy we've, we've uh, shared that with, yeah. with everyone. Yes. Pause the podcast. Okay, if you are listening on your phone, pick it up right now. Go on to your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, get us at the B-Side Word. And did you know that we actually record these with video as well? You can find us on YouTube, again, at the B-Side Word. And we would love it if you subscribe. Uh, subs- uh, I can't even speak. A subscribe. Hey, yeah, there we go. The if remix. you want, you can leave us some comments. We love to engage. And you know what? Let me ask you this. If you do follow us on any of these already, what is it you would like to see from us? Leave us some comments. Let us know. Oh, what, yeah, he said. what he said. What he said. Subscribe. Sub, sub, I can't say the word for some reason. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> and pause the podcast. Okay. So I put this next article in because I sort of read the, the heading, header title mm. and um <laughs> i was like wait what but then it's it's anyway we'll, we'll get into it so this family oh where do i begin at the start oh yeah okay. i was gonna say that <laughs> two, there's two gentlemen <laughs> one is called barry <laughs> the other is called tony so their name's drew it barlow these two gentlemen hit in the uk hit the headlines in 1999 
as the first gay man in the UK to father twins born through surrogacy. So 1999, quite a while ago now. Mm. Okay, so they became, you know, they're probably in the papers or whatnot. Oh my goodness, whatever. Now, 20 years on, 21 years on, Barry split from Tony, although they're still amicable and they still live, live under the same roof. So Barry split from Tony and has, I don't know whether to lead with this or get into it. Anyway, he's got engaged to one of their surrogate daughters, the 20 year old, her name is Saffron. He has got engaged to her ex-boyfriend, Scott. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, what? So Scott is 25 years old. So there's a big age gap now. Because Barry is 15. What is life? This story is... <laughs> Maybe I should just let you explain, but my head has just gone, wait a minute, so... <laughs> so... This seems unnatural. Saffron, the daughter, has a twin brother named Aspen. Saffron and Aspen. Um, Ooh, she bold names. previously dated Scott before, but she knew he was bisexual, apparently. Okay. And it has come out after that she just sort of got with him to cover his bisexuality or cover his gay side and pretend that like whatever. But they were a thing. And I guess Barry fell for Scott and now Barry has proposed to Scott whilst they're on a family holiday in Croatia. Wait. <laughs> were, were they, Wait, was Saffron still together? Were they still together? Yeah. Why were they on? Yeah. <laughs> because everybody's still friends. So they but, split uh, up. Are they not together though? Saffron, Saffron and, and Scott are no longer together. So I don't Scott know- went on the family holiday as Barry's partner. I think so. Because like, he must have he been there? with him before he proposed. <laughs> that seems yeah. a bit like. Yes, I think so. <laughs> um, hey, what are you doing on the weekend? The thing now is that <laughs> Scott has moved in with Barry and Tony. Because remember, Barry and Tony still live together as well. <laughs> so now there's <laughs> now there's three of them at home, and Scott and Barry are also now expecting a baby via surrogate, which is due in October. So is Max, this a you, true story? Or are you reading like a true. proposal for some kind of like HBO is, show? Is, is this a sequel to Tiger King? <laughs> it's a sequel to Tiger King. <laughs> so, but like Saffron has put an Instagram post out because I guess there was a lot of backlash to Barry being like, probably like out of all the guys in the world, you yeah. choose your daughter's ex, like your daughter's boyfriend, whatever. Mm. And she mm. has said, um, she's given their unusual romance her blessing saying as long as they're happy i'm not bothered um scott's one of her best mates and she's happy that he and daddy can finally feel comfortable (laughs) enough to talk about their relationship Uh, so she said she's always known that he was gay and their relationship was to help him keep his secret um but so they weren't like that part but is that an excuse what did they like each was there any actual romanticism between the two of them the daughter at Saffron. Yeah, I think so. They were, they were. Whatever his name is. Because he's Scott. bisexual. So Scott. yeah, they probably. Experimenting. But but this whole to cover his, like, is that just what they're saying? I, I'm trying to, I don't understand that part. I don't know. Like, Because you know how some, like, if, like some gay people, they don't want it to come out. So they hire it. What do they call? A, uh, what do you call? S- surrogate. Got a name. Girlfriend? <laughs> no. Uh, you hire a. Oh, An actor? Remember. No, there's a word. A girlfriend? No. But Saffron? anyway, I can't remember. But anyway, he was he, he got a girlfriend to keep it under wraps. Yeah. But yeah, when I first heard, the, like read the um, headline, I thought it was different because the headline is dad gets engaged to daughter's ex-boyfriend while on family holiday. So I thought they'd gone all the way on holiday. Like the daughter's brought her boyfriend and then he just steals the boyfriend off her and then proposes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I mean, it's a, still, still, it's still it's not far bizarre. off that, is it? It is just weird. Yeah, I this is weird. I think I'm more worried about Saffron being okay with it than anything else. <laughs> what like, with her I name? Feel like, no, with her being okay <laughs> with 
her ex-boyfriend being engaged to her dad. Like to me, there's okay. some there's so gotta be something wrong with you for that to be okay for you. Her, <laughs> like, her uh, ex-boyfriend is about to become her stepdad. Oh, oh yeah. shit. I didn't even think of that. So, so when you make it official like that, CJ, it makes yeah. it even worse somehow. <laughs> She's probably shagged her stepdad. Oh. <laughs> That's not how it works, CJ. <laughs> Just because you touch someone doesn't mean you <laughs> are having sexual... No, no. I, I... Wait, what? No, no. In the past. Yeah. What do you mean? That was her boyfriend. They were together, weren't they? Oh. That was boyfriend, they were the giver. Are you missing the whole story, Deb? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What do you think was happening? <laughs> I thought I thought CJ was like, oh, so like the, the step, the like her boyfriend, they had sex, and then now the boyfriend's having sex with the stepdad, so it's like having sex with, I mean the real no, dad. The oh, is, you know what I mean? Oh, That's what I was saying. Yeah. Like, it doesn't work like that, oh, CJ. Eskimo <laughs> brothers. No, it, only, it only works in one direction. That's so right. Technically, the <laughs> yeah. dad has had sex with the daughter yeah. through because he yeah. came after, right? Yeah, but apparently, the, yeah, Bar- Barry and uh, Barry and Tony, oh, they're worth a combined seventy three million dollars now. Since becoming, since what? you know, since nineteen ninety nine or whatever, they moved oh, from now Manchester. Now I see what Scott sees in Barry. Now live in Florida, <laughs> and they've got like multiple <laughs> business ventures. Wow. I love you, Barry. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but um, okay. If they're worth so much money, mm. why are they still living together? Because they're still friendly friends. Maybe are they business partners uh, as well? Yeah, I think. I so. wouldn't want to live. With, I I wouldn't want to live with an ex. Are they? They're fr- I think and, Tony. And have their new partner come around. Mm. But you I never think... had. You never had Barry as your ex, have you? <laughs> this is true. This is true. No, no, but it... <laughs> yeah, good point. <laughs> they you made the Barry's best got, of Barry's friends. got a lot of money. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think what it is, they're really they good. Seventy-five million reasons, mate. <laughs> <laughs> It says they to... grew apart in recent years, sleeping in separate bedrooms. Tony had got diagnosed with cancer, oh. and they it just became a platonic relationship. But they're the best of friends, so mm. yeah, they just. I'm trying to wrap my head around. So they they got the they had the twins in '99, didn't they? Sorry. And then they've had other kids since then. Yeah, so the twins in 19, uh, 1999. Then they opened up their own surrogacy agency in 2000. And then they went on to have a son in 2003 and then twins in 2010 as well. And so now they're having five kids. One, two, three, four, five. And now they're having another one. Yeah. So now six kids. Wait, that, who's having and another one? Barry, so but with Scott. Scott and Barry. Yeah. <laughs> but. Barry and Scott are going to have a kid together now. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was mentioned a yeah. while back. But. Which, may, which then means that. And Saffron is going to be the mother. Saffron's. S- Saf- oh, fuck. Auntie. Saffron's no, auntie new, and sister. New brother no, no. or sister. No, no, no. Saffron gonna is going to be the, her the si- older sister. Her kid. Yeah. Ex's sister, yeah. And yeah. none of them know whose oh, is yeah. whose sperm. So, <laughs> like, they don't know what? whose is whose. What? They I, both- I couldn't tell my sperm from someone else's sperm. Yeah, no, because they both gave samples <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got five kids, but no one knows whose sample was used for which kid. So, yeah. What did oh, they Barry. do? Did they shake it up in a cocktail shaker and just go, hey, yeah. I was going to say, <laughs> are it's Barry, a Barry and Tony the same race? Is that Ooh. the... They... No. <laughs> they're not, then Barry looks like he's had guess. a bit of work done. Not, I don't know. I haven't seen a picture um, of Tony. Well, on his if, race? If they've, got or... 75, if they've got 75 million, I think both of them have had a bit of work done. But yeah, 25 <laughs> year age difference, you reckon it will last? Yeah. No. Why? Well, that's what I, I was. The reason I wanted to know when they had the twins was to know how old they were because would Barry have had to have been. Barry's 50 interested now. Interested in Scott when Scott was a minor. Or well, when what, he was born. Because 99. Huh? He's 50 now. No, Scott's 25. Scott, Scott's 25. No, that's what I was, I was trying to get there. I didn't know the ages. I was trying to see how old uh, the twins uh, were. The twins were younger. The twins are now 21. And Scott yeah. was twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So mm. I'm guessing it's happened more recently, I- unless Scott was with the twins when they were minors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, dear. not twins plural. He's with one of them, right? But, but isn't Scott it crazy? Was- oh yeah, yeah Scott not- was with one uh, of the twins. I- 
You never know. Saffron. Maybe the second one comes out because I've been with Scott too. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she's like, I'm with who, who's the other one? Tony. Yeah. Oh dear. That's it. That's it, a dad, it, right? But some, I'm, I'm, like it's, it's like this <laughs> happens sometimes where the parent ends up going out with the the child's partner. It's just. I Jeez, thought it only happened on Pornhub. I've, I didn't heard think that was than, I've heard it more than this story. <laughs> what did he yeah. Say? <laughs> That's what I thought it only happened on. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, I missed that. Yeah, you missed that. <laughs> <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> but I have heard it where the mum's hooked up with the, the child's... Um, the adult Ex- child's daughters. partner. Oh, this looks like a good story. Click, click. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? That's uh, is is crazy, but but yeah. So is is it extra? Like, are we finding this extra crazy crazy because they're gay, or no? Not? No, no. I feel like we shouldn't. It's, it's just like, crazy full stuff, even right? If even if the even if they were straight, it'd be kind of crazy. Yeah. It would be crazy. Like, the the thing crazy, that I yeah. find super crazy yeah. is that they're still living together despite splitting up. Yeah. That's one crazy step, and then getting with your and then I guess it the it seems like more of a curveball because. He was with a girl first, and now he's like, "Yo, I would have never predicted that t- uh, Scott your was going to get with da- Barry." Da- your dad's yeah. gonna cut your grass. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like, uh, I, uh, that's wild. And then yeah. engaged. Yeah. So stepdad, like my ex is now is my it- stepdad. Yeah. Like, okay, so you're you're a guy, and, all and you date a let's just say like when he got with Saffron, say she's a twenty year old woman. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. And then your next partner is a 50 year old man. Like, how much more <laughs> off could you have been in your own preference? <laughs> your preference. Oh, I like this. oh, wait, no. No, that wasn't good. I want the complete opposite now. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably have the same mannerisms. Maybe he likes their mannerisms. You know, if they grew up in the same house. <laughs> oh, true. True story. Maybe Here's she was a- attracted to her cooking skills and realized that was just a level down from. Barry's cooking skills because he taught her everything she knew. Yeah, She's like, why am I getting this like subpar the... version of Barry? That's what you I really, listen really to the wanted. Proposal. Listen to the proposal. Yeah. What are you doing? And then when they, they have the new, it. when they have the new kicks, I'm guessing like in as far as their in-person interactions and stuff, like Saf, what's going on? Listen. <laughs> We're listening to the proposal. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear that. Whoa. Oh. Okay, we didn't he didn't it. actually. That wasn't, that wasn't the proposal, they just showed that the ring. That was the him walking up to and seeing the ring and the setup on the <laughs> boat. I <laughs> same with so with Saffron, she like I'm guessing her in person reactions with Scott moving forward aren't gonna be daughter step up. Like that's not no! relationship. <laughs> but then when they bring the kid into the fray does is she gonna have to act like that's her stepdad of with the kid? No. <laughs> or she's gonna like, be like. Is the, the kid, kid gonna, gonna be like the auntie to the kid? The yeah. yeah the, the kid's auntie. gonna grow up and be like, oh, so you with your your my sister was with my dad. That's crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. It's just, this is some Jerry Springer yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The kid's gonna be like, my sister was with my dad. Actually, now you say Jerry Springer, I do remember there was the one where I've watched probably one and a half episodes of my life, like full ones. And this, the one that I watched happened to be a guy who slept with the girl, her mother, and her grandmother. And I was... Uh, oh, my <laughs> gosh. That's crazy. So, yeah, yeah. it does happen. Yeah. He's Jerry Springer. <laughs> uh, That's t- what I said. Talking about um, talking about you guys crazy seen all stories. The pictures of them and everything. Talking yeah. about crazy stories. No. How about how about Hamilton? <gasps> oh, nice segue. Oh. Have you have you guys watched? What happened, happened Wait. Have you guys watched Hamilton? No, not yet. Yes. Are you talking about the Formula One driver or uh, the theatre rap? The rap um, Hamilton. What is it? Good? No, I haven't, okay, I haven't watched it. Okay, so I was gonna watch it one day. We. I have not seen it. Okay, well, let's do. Let's talk about that then. All right. So, Disney Plus, we only just got it 
my parents were like, you've got to watch Hamilton. Ham- like, Hamilton Sweet. the musical. It's called just Hamilton. But it's a musical. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a theatre show. So it's called Just Hamilton. Hold on, it? is that exactly what he just said? <laughs> yeah. No, I was. But re- you I just was... put a bigger gap. You put a bigger gap in between Hamilton and musical. Yeah. So I was just no, no. I was I was confirming. Yes, Dev, you are correct. Okay. So it's called Hamilton. Um. So we finally Hold on. got around to the watching musical. It. Yes. So when you watch it, it's actually on stage show. Alexander's watched it as well because it's actually on theatre. So it's as though you're in the audience type thing. It goes for two oh. hours. And a half. Is it? I think so. Goodness. It went for a long time. We thought it was actually ending and then it, sa- it said interval. <laughs> intermission. <laughs> oh, intermission. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you so, get that. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, you tell her. <laughs> apparently this is also coming on sta- to Australia on stage if anyone's interested. But. This show was... Then none of them are in Australia. So... <laughs> well, it might be going abroad as well. Oh, let's just go. <laughs> so this was a stage show that was really... It came out in 2016 and it took over the world. Kind of. Unless you're like us that hadn't heard of it. But it was massive. Um, it's about Alexander Hamilton, which is one of the four founding forefathers of America. And about how there was the revolution to become independent from Britain. Okay. It doesn't sound impressive. It doesn't it, sound impressive. It doesn't. But the but whole musical. You're, you're, you're really not selling the show. The whole musical <laughs> is done in rap. Yeah. The entire musical is a rap. So two, two and a half hours in rap and song. Oh, it's more it's more hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. Like not rap because there's, there's really singing in there. But yeah. it was just like the concept. And how they put it together and the way that you just stay engaged the whole time and their characters and man, I'm not I'm not that big on theatre. <laughs> I'm not big on theatre. But I watched the whole thing from beginning to end and was absorbed, no, immersed in the in the whole production, which was crazy. So it was so good. The acting was good, the lyrics was good, the the production was awesome. I'm selling this because Watch it. Watch it. Like there was a big thing in the when Obama was in. Like they they talked about this uh, Lin, uh, what's his name? His Lin, name's Lin Manuel. Lin Manuel, um, Miranda, and they were like she was saying that um, th- Michelle Obama said this is the best piece of art that I've seen since I don't know. She referenced something. I don't know any. Uh, yeah, I don't know theatre. So but- in the White House, they hold a art and poetry evening or something annual and this Lynn Miranda performed it back in 2008 after reading the book Alexander Hamilton and he was inspired by that book and he started writing a rap because he was like the only way I can tell this story is through rap so he did his rap and then it took him years to sort of do the rest of it and then it was finally released in 2016 but it's so darn good it is it's brilliant I'm, I'm impressed with Dev's perception like the fact that you like it mm. tells me how good it is because yeah. i like theater emma likes theater my mum likes theater so when i get those opinions i'm like well yeah it makes sense it's for a theater show good but for someone who doesn't like theater like that the fact that yeah. you think like that tells me how good it is like even more so it was awesome why don't you like theater dev is it like you've tried theater and just decided you didn't like it or do not do of it I, I've never been, I wasn't introduced to theatre. Like, so during high school and stuff, you know, when people, they go, I'm doing theatre. Like when my mates, when one mate used to say, I'm going to theatre class. I'm like, why? Why? Why would you do that? There's heaps of things to do in the world. <laughs> well, that's different to watching <laughs> theatre, yeah, isn't it? Like, yeah, you've seen Miss Saigon. But, but because of that, um, because of that thinking, I never, mm. I never even tried to watch theatre. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was just. I never thought about even okay. in, engaging or like, mm. like giving it a go, which was pretty my pig headedness in that. But um, <laughs> since I think it's normal. I think most people don't engage in theatre like this. It it's more it's a. I say there's less people who enjoy and actually engage with theatre than people who don't. Most people probably have never watched theatre in their life. Yeah, C- CJ, are you? Do you yeah. do you watch? Are you? A theatre. I've seen theatre. What? The, just the 
just the building or you've seen <laughs> no, i've seen Star- i've seen starlight express i've seen i've seen a few different shows yeah Did you watch lion king I just can't remember starlight express what's that yeah, I, I i've seen um breeding the beast in the theater production of that i've seen i think the grease production you mm. took your mum to one yeah but... when what did you guys yeah last year i can't even remember I, i've seen a few of these yeah I actually wanted to see Hamilton as well, and I was—I I wanted to see it when it came to Australia. But like uh, the way it sounds, I should watch it here. Watch it on Disney Plus, and then we'll all go watch it together. Yeah, twenty twenty one—they're coming to Australia. I, yeah, I need to oh, watch yeah. it again for sure. Twenty twenty one in Australia. Yeah, should we get yeah. should we get a ticket, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> and then be then side, we have to get a plane like ticket. Field trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll get you. I collect your permission slips. We'll um, see what permission slips. <laughs> It's a field trip. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Emma's, My parents. Emma's a teacher. <laughs> are, you, um, are you guys going to watch it again? Yes. Yeah, and I'll, 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 I'll probably watch it this week. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Dev, I've already been listening to the soundtrack all day, huh? I, I'd probably give it a, a listened, month, I, a month a or a bit soundtrack. before I watch it again. Like from years ago. Oh, have you? Yeah. But that means I have to get Disney Plus to watch it. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably won't watch it straight away because it it took a lot of uh, energy, <laughs> like to watch it for me. <laughs> like when I, because I got emotionally involved in the thing, Maxi. So when I watched it, I was just like, I was watching and I was like, man, so much concentration. But it was just like I didn't realize I was using using heaps of concentration. And then the emotional, mm. I was. He took me on this bloody roller coaster. I was like. This asshole. I didn't even ask him. He didn't even ask for my permission. <laughs> and now I'm on this emotional roller coaster. And then, like, since I've met Emma, right? There's like Emma tears up on every like oh, everything. There's emotional, right? And I used to look at her. I go, "What are you doing? Stop! It's only a like it's only a film. It's only theater." And now, I bloody it's get emotional now. I tear up because <laughs> of this bloody chick, right? She goes, "You gotta feel it." So I'm like, "All right." Together. I'm looking at her. It was, like, there was a sad part. Well, a few, a couple sad parts. My thought was like, "This is what you've done to me. This like, is what you've done to me." I don't usually do this shit, and I'm like looking at her, and, like and I'm at tearing well. up, and I'm like, "What?" The boy, the boy from Gravel cries. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was saying, I can't remember if I was saying this to Emma or, or my mum. But what you're saying about like, the investment side of it as well, because like with theater, you don't have as much contextual information, like visually, if you think like a film or a TV show or whatever, loads of the information you get about storyline is from visual reference. But in yeah. theater, you just don't have the capacity for that. So you have to listen and pay attention a lot more. Yeah. Like, you have it's to funny. actually invest. So like, for me, the reason I want to watch it again is, well, yeah, I enjoyed it. And I really enjoy it. But I know there's so much detail I didn't pick up on. Yeah, like, especially because it was wrapped, and because this is, yeah, and because it's a story as well. Like you want to, like I, I genuinely had. Well, before it, couldn't have cared less about the story. Now I genuinely want to know it more. Yeah, um, because yeah. of the way it's put across. So like that's for me why I know I have to watch it again. Mm. And I'm, it's probably gonna be one of those like every time I watch it, I'm gonna pick up on like up. As much as you do that with films, like you pick up on more, but like because it's a, a true story, like a historical story, quite relevant information to the actual telling of it. Um, it's pretty Hamilton. darn cool. And I love that it was that they, that they're, you know, most of the cast were immigrants, as they always say, and black people, mm. which was awesome. Oh, the no, main, Latinos. Do you know, I Latinos. do have one critique on that, on what? cast. Why did they have people playing multiple characters? I couldn't figure yes. out. Because, yeah. I think because it was a traveling show, they only had a set amount of cast. So a couple of characters only came at the beginning. So they just reuse them rather than hiring. But what about, what about the rest of the actors who were in there? <laughs> like there, there were some people who had like one line, the whole thing. No, and you've got some people playing two characters. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But um, what amazed me the most, can I say, I'm still, Mind blown. Lynn Manuel Miranda, <laughs> the one that that created crazy, this, yeah. is a genius. He yeah. literally wrote and did the lyrics for every single song mm. in the entire thing. 
And what was interesting, we haven't watched it fully, but there's an interview after and he said that he basically creates, he, he loves to create things that he can actually perform perform Enjoy. he yeah so he's the main character because yeah. he's like he created a role for himself which is interesting see i watched i i the first thing i said when i watched um hamilton i said why is this guy the, the main yeah. and i said why is he the main and it sort of went through my head as well because his voice isn't like the best in the out of the lot of them and it was a little bit odd mm. but i was like there's got to be a reason and the- <laughs> but it's because he bloody made the whole, the whole thing <laughs> he's like i'm lead so I, <laughs> I know of the guy from before hamilton um but like my i actually had to show uh my mom and dad this video i knew of him does any of you know college humor college yeah. yes humor. yes so college humor is like one of the original sketch channels yeah. from youtube from like That's way right. back in the day yeah um and there was a sketch that he's in and that's my memory of him oh. so in that he's 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 part of a group called uh i can't remember what they're called but like a group of rappers and writers and stuff so i knew of him as a rapper and i knew of him as someone who was lyrically very creative and i knew that he wrote for like he like at that point he had tony awards and stuff so i knew he wrote for theater as well so this was like as soon as he showed up on center stage I remember, like, mum looked at me, just like, because obviously he's, you know, he's, uh, well, at the beginning, he's the white guy among the black guys of this Hamilton story and everything. And I was like, oh, I love that guy. It makes sense that he's that character. And my mum was just like, oh, like that reaction of, oh, you're not supposed to, like, the reaction you guys had, like, why is he this main? I was like, oh, yeah, no, it makes sense. I love this guy. (laughs) Oh, for me, it wasn't because he was white. It was his voice wasn't, it was his voice. No, that's not like, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to, I say fit like in that sense. Yeah. Like, you know, the rest, yeah. the rest of them, you can tell they're cast for their prowess in those things. But yeah. he, because apparently so, he bought he bodied the role to me. Like, I thought he did a great job of it. Yeah. Well, but, like, apparently in real life, so. Alexander Hamilton was from the Caribbean, so he was half Scottish and half Caribbean. So that does make sense. But before this, he did another theatre show called In the Heights, which also won him loads of Tonys yeah, and Grammys right. and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, and then he went on to produce songs on Moana yeah. as well. And so he wrote like the, where I, who, whatever, like keeps the songs on that. But he's so talented, yeah. poor guy. That is another episode of the B-Side Word done and dusted. Thank you guys Thank for you. joining. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed the energy. I hope you were enlightened. I hope that you have a great week. I hope the best for you. Um oh. Nice. And that's that's it. We're that's we're signing off. The B side word is signing off. So we'll see ya. See you next week, guys. Next Bye. week. Bye. Bye. Bye.